Welcome to my latest video of the Red Sea Reef of 450. A couple of months have passed since I've done the last update and uh, we had a dose of cyano last time. So most of the cyano has gone. What I think is happening is replaced by um, a bit of a dusting of diatomes and I think that's due to lack of flow on the sand bed and that would be just too many corals. So you can just see in certain areas like they're right in the middle, in between some of the corals. A little bit of cyano left there, as you can see. But overall, not too bad, and certainly a lot better um, than it was. I think what I need to do, as I always say, is got to clear some coral, but that's easier said than done. So, <clears throat> what's changed in the tank? Well, I've added six more fish. So let's see if we can focus on them. I added four peacock wrasse so they've got to be my favorite fish I had one before but now I've got three tiddlers so juveniles are not fully colored yet but they're not at the moment but they usually swim around together there's two of them there uh, got the yellow tang there nice and healthy does a good job at pecking algae and eats anything really. I've got two fish wreck amphias. <clears throat> now I did have five when I first started out, but I don't think it was enough. So they picked on one another until they went down to two. And I've got one that's a lot bigger than the others, which is the norm. And hopefully that will turn male in due course got four Bengali Cardinals that's one of the adults and before I forget there's a Richmond Rass there really really nice Pajama Cardinals got two of those so all in all I've got 18 fish Look over here, got the pair of clownfish there. And with the cardinals, the Bengali ones there is, there's one which is the adult, which is this one. I'm not too sure if it's the male or female. And there are actually three that were fry and we grew out within this tank. One of the adults died, not too sure why, that was soon after. And left with one adult and three juveniles, but there, they were born about 18 months ago, so they're not juveniles anymore. There's only two out, the other two are hiding somewhere. Another addition is a silver belly wrasse. Lovely fish. Now what I find with, with all the wrasse, one, make sure they're feeding in the shop and they take frozen. You'd also find that they, they sometimes can disappear and not come out for a few days. So their silver belly, probably disappeared for the first 10 days and then appeared out of nowhere. Whereas the others were fine, they came out the next day. So I know certainly with rats, they're hit and miss. If they survive the first few days, then you're, you're pretty much sorted, I would say on that. And I've got a Midas Blenny around here somewhere. See if we can find him. And there's the other two cardinals in the in the background now. Just see them. Oh, there he is. It's just popped out. Beautiful colour, purple with I suppose the last third is orange. Really lovely fish. Had that about two years, I would say. It's becoming to feeding time. That's why they're all out looking really really good there's my other addition a spotted mandarin absolute gorgeous fish eats brine shrimp which is really really good as the tanks three years old there's plenty of food for him at the moment and he gets fed usually twice a day on brine and what tends to happen is I feed the rest of the fish at the other end of the tank and he gets fed at this end 
Now tonight he's decided to be out of front where he usually is at the back. So that makes life a lot easier to feed him. So I'm gonna have to wait for him to go towards the back, feed the rest of the fish at the other end, and then he'll get some. He's usually fed a little bit earlier, so he's probably out searching. And of course, as you feel, we've got some good shots of him earlier on, but now he's decided to go behind a rock. But there's another lovely shrimp there, a fire shrimp. Now I've had that shrimp since the very first tank it had, so four years old. Not too sure exactly how long they last, but the colours are just fantastic. Off in it goes. But you usually only see them when it's feeding time, as they're scavengers. So I think that's all we're gonna get from the mandarin. Just popping his head out there. Absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the update.